Link Promenade is located between the Link Hotel and Experience and the Flamingo. It's home to entertainment, retail, bars, and multiple restaurants. With all of this fun and food in one place, the Link Promenade is one of our favorite places on the Strip. But with so many restaurants, it can be a little overwhelming deciding where to dine. In this video, we'll provide a brief overview of various dining options on the Link Promenade. first restaurant that we're highlighting is Maxi's, which is located near the high roller at the end of the promenade. Maxi's offers patio seating as well as indoor seating. They have an extensive menu with unique options like Benedict boxes and cotton candy pancakes. We love Maxi's for its breakfast options like steak and eggs, omelets, and of course, avocado toast. They also make great Bloody Marys. Maxi's has lunch and dinner options in addition to their great breakfast items. Across from Maxi's is Yard House, which of course is a popular chain restaurant. Yard House is very, very spacious and has a large bar area with a huge variety of draft beer. Yard House also has a great happy hour that offers deals on both drinks and food Monday through Friday. Entrees are available, but we seem to order multiple appetizers to share, like nachos, wings, and cheese curds. You can also order half yards of beer. Next on our list is Favorite Bistro, which also has a great happy hour. They do have patio seating, which allows dogs, but they also have indoor dining. We also like it here for breakfast or brunch and love their avocado toast, parfait, and of course, Eggs Benedict. They have great Bloody Marys and even have an extreme Bloody Mary that is your meal and drink all in one. Favorite Bistro also has live music on occasion. Next to favorite is Ja Burritos. They're known for their sushi burritos, poke balls, and mochi ice cream pops, which is a fan favorite. They have a small indoor dining area as well as a patio area. This is a great spot for a quick bite.
Next is the popular In-N-Out Burger, located right by the center fountain. We tend to eat here a lot due to the convenience, low prices, and of course their delicious burgers. Our go-to is the Double Double with Cheese, Animal Style. Animal Styles, for those who are not familiar, is their special sauce that can be added to burgers and fries upon request. It is not on the menu. You can also get your burgers protein style where they're wrapped in lettuce or get an extra toasted bun. You can even request in and out hats. Next door to in and out is Flour and Barley Brick Oven Pizza, which has indoor and patio seating, as well as a window for two-go slices. They have great pizza, but they're also known for their great appetizers, like Brussels sprouts, wings, and meatballs. They have a great happy hour, and sometimes through Travel Zoo, you can get a $40 for 20 voucher. Across the way is Virgil's Barbecue which also has both indoor and outdoor seating, as well as access from the Link Pool. This place can get pretty busy, and it's a great place to watch sports. Next on our list is the Tilted Kilt, which is also located near the center of the promenade. The Tilted Kilt is a fun two-level sports bar known for its bar bites and servers in kilts. They have a great happy hour and a fun atmosphere with sports fans. Next to the very popular O'Shea's is Off The Strip Bistro, which has a smaller outdoor patio, but really large indoor space for dining. You can enter from the promenade as well as from the Link Casino. They're known for their steaks, pork chops, and seafood. On the other side of O'Shea's, across from the Flamingo, is Chayo. Chayo has a large outdoor patio as well as a spacious indoor dining area. Like off the strip, you can access Chayo from the promenade or the Link Casino. We love Chayo for breakfast and happy hour. They also make a mean Bloody Mary that uses tequila instead of vodka. Closer to the beginning of the promenade is the very popular Gordon Ramsay Fish and Chips. While there's limited indoor and outdoor seating, this place seems to always be busy. The prices are a little high. You're gonna spend about $18.99 for fish and chips, but it's definitely shareable.
next door to Gordon Ramsay's is Hot Doggery. It's a gourmet hot dog joint. While we haven't eaten here, we have noticed that it stays pretty busy. And last, but certainly not least, is Sweet Sin, which, as the name implies, is geared to those visitors with a sweet tooth. However, they do have salads, sandwiches, and paninis, 